And a flood of angry residents are trying to get Sunset Hills to reverse a decision on a water tower. So they called Fox 2's Elliot Davis to spotlight their concerns. And here's tonight's You Paid For It. Here's what has some residents in Sunset Hills boiling. This is an artist's rendition of a new water tower Missouri American Water is planning to build in their neighborhood. The old one there now would be torn down. The existing water tower is right outside Angie Weigel's yard. She's learned to accept the existing one, but the new one, a bit much for her and her neighbors. I don't really feel like it was transparent. Like they just were trying to push this through and didn't really give the residents time to look at other options. The new one would hold about 1.5 million gallons of water compared to the existing one that holds about 250,000 gallons. It would be about 105 feet tall with a radius of 82 feet. It's been an ongoing battle for weeks at City Hall. Alderman voted down allowing the project at first, but on a revote, it was approved with Mayor Patricia Freebus breaking the tie, much to the chagrin of residents. Angie Weigel was one of those citizens who spoke at a public works meeting. I like water. This was never an issue about water. This was an issue about how I felt things weren't transparent from the get-go. But Alderman, siding with the mayor, says there was no way around giving the water company the go-ahead. I understand that some of the residents and you, Casey, think that they should have and could have gone somewhere else. They're not going somewhere else. They've got a tower there. They've explained it to us numerous times. Mayor Freebus had agreed to talk to me on camera at first, but later backed out. She sent me this email saying, thank you for showing an interest in the city of Sunset Hills. I must respectfully decline granting you an interview concerning the Missouri American Water Tower. First, the matter is still ongoing. But for now, the water company has the go ahead. It's six times bigger than the one that's here. I think this thing is going to be a huge eyesore and it's going to affect property values around here. Residents say unless something changes, the water company could start billing the new water tower by the fall of the year. Of course, I'll keep track of this deal. After all, you paid for it.